Okay, um, this video is just gonna, I'm gonna try to make this one a short video to um, keep a little more interesting, something to kind of keep your attention so you're not sitting here watching like a 45 minute video and just being like, just bored out of your mind. Okay, so real quick, um, this, and it's kind of continuation of video number five, seven, of number seven, um, five, two, seven, okay, seven. Um, uh, it's, uh, I'm going to do a one of a kind item. I kind of want to describe like how those things come together. So, um, the, the print I descri described, uh, yesterday and kind of came with, I'm going to give you something to look at in the background. Um, the, um, the, the snake, the Roth snake, um, the, uh, 19, I think that's a 1967 image, uh, 67, 68. I should know that. Oh, I didn't put it on the design I meant to do that. Damn it. Damn it totally meant to do that it's too late to change it it'll be okay um so um so that design right there um man i hate that i forgot to put that design on that on there man that sucks i totally meant to do that okay um anyway i'm gonna print that design today it's a three color as a snake um, so one of the things that I do is I have like things around the shop so I can do one of a, one of a kind thing. Um, but, uh, one of the thing I have sitting around the shop, I work at, a, I, my day job is that I've recently went part-time due to, uh, becoming a, a, a rat fink, uh, an official rat fink artist. Um, the true, um, there's no better word to say than the blessing of becoming a rat fink artist. It, it, it's it's an absolute dream come true. Um, I've been able to um, uh, been busy enough and have enough support that I've been able to go uh, part time at, at at my job. Um, it is just a it absolute dream come true. This is this is it's been amazing to um, to 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 do that. Um, and thank you very very much for the support. Um, so at this time being, you know. And if I ever have to go back to my full-time job, luckily, um, I'm able to do that also. So um, when I work at a print shop, and sometimes we have leftover items, a lot, of, like, a lot of weird stuff. One thing that we have left over a lot of times are aprons, shop aprons. So um, I just have like a collection of these aprons laying around. One day I printed one for myself uh, with the mask on it, with the uh, Halloween mask that I was uh, printing at the time. And uh, it was it was awesome. So. You know, I was wearing it, and then uh, one day I printed another one, and it looks so great. So I'm gonna print another one today, and I kind of wanted to document that how, how those things come together. So this is the print shop. You might have seen it before. It's a little bit everything gets a little bit of a mess before um, before I print. The this is uh, more or less my dark room. This is where I store my. Uh, to store my screens believe it or not it works great um i am going to do process videos i know i'll keep talking about it um like the actual pro the silk screen process this is where i store my screens there's just a they're just boxes that i cover in trash bags i can store screens in there for at least two months i don't recommend it because they start smelling like dead animals but you know it's it's, it's okay it, it, it works um that's my fans that I'll drive my screen. So basically, here's my light table. So everything moves from the light table to the press. And then back here, kind of just move piles around, you know, because I have limited space. It's a little unorganized, but, you know, you get to adjust. Okay, so here, here's what I do. You know, here's, a, here's a pile of shop paper. So uh, when I was lining up my artwork this morning on my light table, I was like, you know what? Hey, and seriously, like this. I said to myself, hey. I wonder if this is gonna look good on a shop apron. And I was so excited. I just wanted to share this with you. So this is what we got. I'm gonna turn on the light table. And this, looky here. I mean, I am, it couldn't fit any better. Steve Ferguson, what do you think about that? Is that not the coolest ever? I mean, it's just like made for it. Um, Steve is my buddy. He watches these videos. Um, and he would, he, he would, he's going to totally dig this. Um, so I'm just going to talk to Steve like if Steve was printing this at work. Uh, you see, Steve, of course, I'm going to cut this tag out because that's going to be difficult to print right there. Um, you know, we, you, you can see that there's going to be some trouble spots. Um, 
right here, but I, you know, I think I can get enough pressure. Of course, always printing a one of a kind, of, and this is gonna be, I'm gonna print one of these. This apron, there's gonna be one of these, and that's it. I'm printing one, that's it. It'll be the only apron in the whole world that looks like this. That's it, I'm printing just one. Even as cool as it is, even though I would want one, that, that's it. I'm, I'm gonna print it, and then it, that's it. So, um, and and when you're doing like one of a kind items like like this this right here, it, it's going to be difficult to deal with this printing. Probably put a shop rag over it so it doesn't bust the screen. Um, Steve, like I said, you see that could be a problem. Um, to register, it's just going to be simple. I'm going to print the. Um, what I'm going to do first is just like lay the screen on top. I'm going to print the whole uh, this whole image right here. You know, I'll tape out this because this is all on the same screen. I'll print this in a um, fluorescent orange so I know where to line up the green. I'm just going to do the snake in green, fluorescent green, and then go back over the whole thing in black. And then I'm just going to um, print this block, whole block in red. That's it, period. That's it. That's it. It's, that's the only colors. You know what? I'm not. Maybe I'll just do that in black because I don't want to look like Christmas time. But you know what? I am going to do it in red because I think that red looks looks cool. The red and black looks cool. It's not going to look like Christmas because it'll be fluorescent green. Okay, and that's it. Um, but I just got so excited looking. It's going to look so cool. So I'm going to shoot my screens, print this, and then I'll show the videos of me printing this. This, is, this, this, this video has already gone on too long. Um, and I want to keep your... Your interest i don't want you to stop watching all right here's what's going on i'm getting ready to print the um i'm getting ready to print the first um this fluorescent orange on the um on the apron and what this is going to do this is going to be like a guide i'm also afraid to lift it up but what it's going to do it's going to be like a guide of um of where to line everything up and uh, so that's where I'll know where to print the the green. And I wasn't going to 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 do the red, but after doing uh, the art print, and I was I'm very pleased with the art print. After doing the art print, it's it's going to need the red and the eye and then the and then the tongue and it's also in the mouth too. Um, it's going to need that. It's going to need that information. Um, so. Yeah, I'm gonna print this. this. This is what's so, well, I, I, I would say scary. Number one, like I said um, in, the, in the video, see this right here, this little bit right here. And like my buddy Steve will know, um, Steve, what I was um, talking about right here, look, my arm looks kind of hairy there. It doesn't look hairy, it is hairy. All right, um, see like that could very easily pop that screen. I meant to put a shock rag over that. That's a very easy fix. Let me go down here and get one of my Troy Asher uh, shop rags. So cool. Uh, and uh, sorry, you probably. So with that, that gets a little extra padding there. Feel a little more comfortable about that. Um, and I'm just going to screen here. Um, what I was going to talk about, like see these, the apron strings hanging down. Like, like the thing that can happen here is these can end up in the ink. There's a lot of mistakes that can happen that will, you know, if I was printing this by my, for myself and I knew I wasn't going to, you know, put it on uh, up for sale or have it at a show available for purchase, um, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But I want, you know, I want to keep it kind of clean. I don't want to show up with some, something that looks like, a, you know, like a, like a shop rag, you know, like a, like a, you know, like some dirty dish rag and I'm trying to sell it. show. I want it, to, you know, pretty clean for the most part. Um, I want it to look handcrafted. I mean, it will be handcrafted no matter what. There's going to be some mistakes. It's going to look hand printed um, it, because not all of it's going to print print well. But I don't want to like you know because like that's that's going to be a little tight you know right there. It's going to be a little tight here. But um, you know I don't want to add to that. So anyway, I want to print this and let's let's see what we get. All right, I got a good print. <laughs> So cool, man. Man, I love screen printing. It's just the coolest. I mean, that is, I love it just like that. Man, that's badass.
Man, I'm just a sucker for screen printing. This just makes me just want to like go out and screen print this on the side of my van. Oh man, that is so cool. Look at that. This is a Robert Williams um, design. Like I said, I think it's 1968. I wish, um, you know, because that says Roth and it would have the year by it. I am looking for, um, this was this was a patch. So I am in search for this original patch. And I know it's in a catalog somewhere. And I bet I, I'm going to come across it very soon. All right, so here's what I got to do. I got to put this in front of the fan, let it dry, clean the screen out, let it dry. Um, line the green up and uh, go from there. All right, I got the red lined up. Um, the red for the tongue and the eye. Um, it's pretty, uh, should be pretty easy, but you know, as soon as I say it, it should, it's gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be actually, it's it's way off. I need to adjust that. It's kind of a, it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to get this all lined up. I'm glad I, I closed it and looked at it. I need to kind of stop. I need to focus and make sure I get this right. Um, but I will get this lined up the best I can. It's kind of difficult the more I you know, open and close this. Um, I'm sure when I put that rag in there, it kind of shoved, it moved it a little bit. So I just kind of make sure that I adjust it just, you know, just right. Dealing with the fabric, it's a little bit difficult to, to make sure you know, that's a little better, but damn it, not really. I need to kind of, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, but you get the idea. I need to just make sure that that's as on as it can be. Damn, that eye's not close at all. All right, I kind of need to tug over here on this um, fabric. It took me a little while to realize that I couldn't get it adjusted because I had the uh, fold of this fabric was hanging down here and I couldn't adjust it because the screen was actually on the fabric and I couldn't pull it back. But anyway, that's printer mumbo jumbo. That's boring as hell for someone who isn't printing. Okay, um, I'm gonna print this and we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, I did a print. It looks it looks pretty good. It's off a little bit, but I still think it's gonna look cool. I mean, even if it's off, you know, it's gonna look it's gonna look hand done. And in the black, like that orange, like the orange is gonna stick out around the black. Um, I printed a million posters like that with like a color underneath and just offset the black just a little and it looks really cool, especially um, like lime green and, 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 and like lighter fluorescent colors look really cool that way. So, um, man, I'm just so, I can't wait to see how this is printed. I can't wait to see it done. All right, at this point, it's just pretty self-explanatory. Um, I got the, the uh, lime green lined up Lined up pretty good self uh, first. Like I'm, I'm kind of no, I'm kind of getting an idea of where to place the apron. So uh, knock on wood, uh, it just I lined it right up. So I'm just gonna flood print, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But I, but I will add, it see, it's just kind of printing, and it's doing like the one of a kind prints, and it's like the tradition, like printing uh, out of the norm. Let me get, let me uh, see if I can go over here and grab one of these prints. There's a nice view of the trash can. I'm trying to not put this screen down and pull one of these prints out of the rack at the same time. You know, like, so here's the art print. You know, that's the green, orange, and then I printed the red, then the green, or something like that. But I printed the black last. So that would be your traditional print order, you know, light to dark. But it's like when, like, like experimenting and like, and, and like doing things out of order. That's when things just like you learn a lot and try new stuff. So that's like that green on top of that orange. It just looks so cool. So, um, maybe tomorrow if I can find some time, uh, I'm working on a commission piece right now and doing some other stuff. Um, so if I can find some time, like I'll try to hang on to these screens, you know, as long as I can, but um, I might come in and do some one of a kind like variant prints. Um, like, uh, you know, I did that a couple, a couple of videos ago. Um, and see, this is definitely something I want to explore. Like, see, like to me, that's, that's like, like that's just a cool print right there. So anyway, I'm getting a little sidetracked. Uh, I'm gonna keep going. I'll put this in front of the fan and get it drying. 
Uh, right now, let's just uh, print the black and that's done. And I'll print uh, this, the Roth and the Maywood, California. And then my little uh, legal information right there in the bottom in red. And that apron is done. I just tapped it. Is it rolling? It's rolling. The numbers are rolling? The numbers are rolling. Okay, so I'm printing this apron. Okay, and it's filming. Okay, I got it lined up. Film down here, Anna. Okay. You can see, um, you can see where, I can tell where it's pretty lined up pretty good. It's a little sketchy up in here, but I think that'll add to it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna step on the pedal. That activates the suction so I can get a flood. Makes a good fart noise whenever that fabric goes down. That looks pretty damn good. Um, I don't want to take it. looks pretty solid. I'm going to... All right, that's good. All right, you're filming? Okay, just because I don't... I want you to get this because this is like... Getting this off of here is kind of... Is it scary? Sketchy. Yeah, it's sketchy because like it could, you know... But... You know, because it can like fold over on itself, but it's really not that sketchy, I guess. I'm just trying to be dramatic. I'm trying to make like a dramatic video. Are you dramatic? Yeah, pretty dramatic. I'm a drama queen. Okay, look. I think it looks great, don't you? I think it looks really cool, yeah. I would look good in this, right? Yes. All right, okay. I just need to print the bottom and I'm done. I've been printing all day, I'm tired. Okay, um, go ahead and cut. All right, that's it. I set it up and printed I thought I would, uh, I meant to film me setting it up and then printing it, but I accidentally, I accidentally, well, I forgot, actually. I'm not going to sit here and say, I, I forgot to film me setting it up and then printing it. So uh, that's it. It's done. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just uh, let it sit here and dry. I try to break it down without making a mess. I'm trying to, and, uh, and then I'll just, uh, Sign it on the back, on the on the seam in the back somewhere, and catalog it, um, and then it will be available. When it's the only one in the whole world, and I absolutely am very, very, very happy with it. Um, and I don't have my uh, little Instagram thing that I usually point to, but the best place to uh, follow me and keep up with this kind of stuff is on Instagram. You can follow me at uh, find me at Jim H Madison. And also, uh, the band we've been listening to is El Astronauta. You can find them on Spotify. This is their new album getting ready to come out called High Strangeness. Um, and uh, you can um, find me on Instagram, and uh, I can send you a link to, the, to find them on Instagram. I mean, to find them on Spotify. And also, um, subscribe and like, and uh, you'll be able to uh, keep up with these videos. Thank you very much for watching, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with this. Have a good night.